a weird vibe in here. I kind of don't like sitting in here by myself. What the hell is that? A small child was mapped inside the cot. He was dressed in like an old timey suit with like a top hat. This mirror is actually super creepy. The creepiest, most haunted, scary room. That scared me so much. Bleeding out of his head for a long time and unfortunately he did pass away. Is there someone in the room with me? What? Keepers, thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt. I am currently in Kapunda, South Australia, getting ready to stay at the Sir John Franklin Hotel. And I tell you what, guys, the paranormal stuff that goes on within this place is said to be pretty crazy, so stay tuned. The Sir John Franklin Hotel sits along the main street of Kapunda, South Australia, and was first licensed back in 1849. Over the years, multiple deaths have taken place within the aging hotel, which could be the reason why it is considered to be haunted. Staff and guests have both reported strange experiences with the paranormal inside of the hotel, involving ghostly children, a woman and a man. Many have seen a well-dressed gentleman wearing a top hat around the building, and he has even been photographed on the hotel's balcony. Others have seen a woman in white walking down the upstairs corridors before suddenly disappearing. And room 20 seems to be a place of interest that spooks some of the staff here for no real reason. Tonight, we will attempt to make contact with the spirits of the Sir John Franklin Hotel and spend the night within this historic South Aussie pub. All right, Crypt Keepers, we are in the upper level of the Sir John Franklin Hotel. And I really want to show you guys around and also just talk about this place, pieces of history, uh, the ghost stories. And also, I've got a little secret. I've actually been here before. I've actually investigated this place. You guys haven't seen it. My patrons and YouTube members have watched a bonus video that actually picked up some weird evidence. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about those pieces of evidence. But also last time I was here, I came with my friends from Adelaide's Haunted Horizons. They did like a live stream paranormal investigation that I was a special guest on. And we had some weird creepy moments there too. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about that. Also gonna be linking uh, their Facebook and their, U their YouTube uh, down below. So go subscribe to them, go follow them. You can also watch the replay of that live paranormal investigation over on their, YouTube, uh, their Facebook, sorry. Um, the first thing I wanna show you guys up here is actually outside. So there's a huge like balcony out the front here. So this is where the first ghost story kind of centers. So large balcony, you can kind of see the street below. The owner's wife uh, actually a couple of years ago was standing on the other side of the hotel, uh, the other side of the road taking a photo of the hotel. Oh, well that's a car. <laughs> Did the first one sound like a the car? The first one was this door. It was a door. But it sounded like the roof that it sounded like, I don't know. This door was the first thing that went. <laughs> anyway, she was standing on the opposite side of the road looking back at the hotel and took a number of photographs. She took them in quick succession of each other. And she just wanted some nice photos of the hotel to kind of put on one of the plasma screens downstairs. And she didn't notice at the time until she put the photos onto the television screen that she'd actually captured what possibly could be a ghost. What everyone was seeing in the photographs was a man. And he was standing right about this area here, right where I'm standing now. Strange thing about it was he was dressed in like an old timey suit with like a top hat. And that's pretty uncommon. Like who would be hanging around this country pub in Kapunda wearing that? You know, it was it was in very recent times that these photos were taken. So no one knows knows who this guy was, why he was standing here. And to her knowledge, there was no one else like in the hotel, in the building. So it freaked her out so much that she was like, nah, take these photos off. I don't want them on my, my screen anymore. It freaks me out that much. So I think this is an area that might be interesting to set up some steel cameras or something tonight uh, to use in our investigation. So now we'll come back through. You know what guys, I'm gonna turn. Yeah, that's way creepier. <laughs> All right, so let's keep going down the 
creepy hallway. There's a lot of um, different rooms here and it does take a corner, but before we go too far, I really want to point out this small staircase here. Now, there has been a number of deaths that I know about at this hotel and one of them happened right here. So in the late 1800s, a man actually fell down these stairs and it's not a huge fall, but he fell um, pretty hard on his head. Now, nobody found him for quite some time. He laid there unconscious, bleeding out of his head for a long time and unfortunately he did pass away. So that's the first of our deaths within the hotel. I also know that there was apparently a suicide here I don't know which uh, room this was, but this was in the 1800s also. There was also a doctor who passed away in one of these rooms, which may very well be this one here. Now I have already kind of been in this room, so you might see all my equipment and stuff kind of sprawled out. <laughs> this is the largest room here. Um, as you can see, there's a number of beds. It is more of like a family room, but because I don't actually know where the doctor died, but because he was a doctor in those times, was very wealthy, you'd assume he would have the biggest room. This is a big ass room. So this could have been the room that he passed away in. Uh, let's keep going because things start getting creepy down here as well. There has been a woman sighted down here. So just from this uh, kind of area here, people have cited the apparition of a woman, like a woman in white. And she was seen from kind of about here, walking down this hallway. She walks down the stretch of this hallway, then turned into, I believe the right, into the ladies' toilets, and then disappeared. So that's kind of cool, kind of creepy. But what else is creepy is <laughs> number 20. This is said to be one of the most haunted areas and mostly just because people here get weird vibes they get really weird feelings in this room so I'll take you in so what's interesting to know is this place is numbered as if it is a hotel room but when you come in it ain't a hotel room anymore and i was told that people get the strangest weirdest most off feelings in here some, some of the, the staff here are kind of scared of this place. They don't really like to come in here. And I've also heard that there are children to haunt the hotel seen in and around this room. So one of the cool things as well is there's this odd cot here. And it's one of those things that must, you know, fully pull over and it protects your, your kids from bugs. Or it's a cage to lock them in. I don't know. <laughs> But this thing certainly looks old, it certainly looks creepy to me. So it kind of pairs up with the sightings of kids in here. Now, last time I was at the hotel, I actually did a little bit of an investigation that my patrons and my YouTube members have seen and they have access to the full video. If you guys want to see that, you have to join up. I'll put links below. I am going to insert some clips that were extremely interesting here into this video though. The first one was I uh, was filming from about where you guys are right now. And I was filming around the room. I was filming the cot and for a split second, the figure of what kind of looks like a small child was mapped inside the cot. Seconds later, pr pretty much like at the same time, one of the cat balls uh, inside the cot went off. And if you don't know what a cat ball is, you probably haven't watched my channel enough, but it's a clear ball that if it's physically moved, it will light up. Anyway, I'm gonna set the ghost tube up so it's still, so we are not, oh, that was weird. No, okay. So seeing the figure and then having that ball light up was very, very interesting to me. So this place is cool. I also left the camera rolling for about, I don't know, 20 to 30 minutes in here. It didn't map any other figures in this space at all during that time. So it's weird that it only picked up something that looked like a kid in the cot for a split second and then nothing. During that time though, why no one was around, I also picked up some audio that really, really sounds like a scream and I can't explain that either. So that's scarily interesting.
One other cool thing that I've also picked up here on the ghost tube SLS uh, during that video was I mapped a figure in this doorway. That figure looks like a little kid as well. And I'll insert a clip here. Alright. Oh, hello. Um, no idea what that is mapping. They do say there's kids here. So as you can see in that clip, it looks like there's a little critter in the doorway. And it's strange because it's mapping someone in the doorway, but it completely misses and doesn't map the tripod, which almost looks like it has limbs. So it seems like it should map the tripod over whatever was in the doorway, but it doesn't. So I don't know. Again, very, very interesting. So as we walk down here, there's a lot more rooms. And I'll tell you what, these rooms are friggin' creepy, some of them. Weird vibes in a number of them. But also, this was the path that the ghostly lady took. She walked all the way down here, turned into this area of the hallway, then dissipated, disappeared. She was gone. So we have a number of um, deaths, ghost stories, ghost sightings, interesting pieces of activity that, uh, you know, we've we picked up on in the past. So I am really excited for tonight. I'm really excited to investigate this place with you guys. All right, well, Jared, what do you think of this place? We've just had a good look around and we kind of like settled in Bit for the creepy. night. Bit creepy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what do you find creepy about it? I think that crib in room 20 is a bit creepy. I agree. Um, sort of like a cage, like. Yeah. Yeah. And what do you think about last time I was here, that image of it kind of looks like little kid in the in the crib cage. Crib cage. Yeah, well, yeah. That figure that I picked up. Yeah, and it, and it kind of came up as soon as the cat ball went off or just before or after, I don't remember. I think it was before the yeah, cat ball. Before the cat so it was paired off. with the cat ball, but also I filmed in that same spot for like, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes, half hour, whatever it was, and it didn't pick up any figures. So it's weird that it would pick up just one and then nothing that whole time so i don't know yeah. it doesn't mean it's paranormal i don't know whether it is or not but it's very very curious i think and you've put that vid the full raw footage from that investigation on your patreon right yeah and that's for my patreon and youtube members what um what area do you think is the creepiest here so definitely room 20 i think we should investigate there the room we're in now um is kind of cool it's like is this like the master this bedroom? is like uh, this is like a family room family i guess room, yeah, it has so. the most room the most beds and you know last time i was here we were talking and you know we speculated apparently a doctor died while staying here in one of the rooms not sure which room but it well could have been this room because you think doctor very wealthy back in yeah. those days so certainly likely that they had the biggest room yeah this certainly is the biggest room for sure yeah it definitely is plus last time we were here like definitely creepy vibes yeah i don't feel too bad in here now it feels kind of like warm and nice and we've got a nice like christmas tree in the corner but last time um allison got weird vibes while while we were in this room and yeah definitely something felt a bit off plus the stairs where that person died are literally just right out of uh, out the door here so yeah i feel like for me i'm kind of excited about the room that we're staying in so i found something in our room that i haven't told jared about yet and it's really what? creepy it actually scared the out of me it's in the wardrobe did you look in there no cool i'm gonna make you look in there after when we we right. go back in i think that there's some things <laughs> something in there that might scare you and maybe it will be useful to us tonight right <laughs> all right guys so we're just heading into our room for the night room, room five. five all right come on in do you want me to give so, a tour yeah so this is the bed Name is Gear. And we've got some surprises on the window there that you'll see later. One of them you know. Spirit. Uh, sink. That's it really. Oh, you're gonna, and the wardrobe. You're gonna open the wardrobe or what? God. Maybe just move that backpack. Nice sonic jocks. <laughs> Alright, you scared? This 
Is this original? It's pretty old. Alright, here I go. Here it is. What the hell is that? <laughs> a frock. <laughs> is this? You didn't bring this along with you? No, that was not mine. That is really creepy. Should I wear it? Was there a lady that died here? Um, I don't know about a lady actually dying here, but there is a lady said to haunt the upstairs area. I wonder if that's hers. Maybe, I mean, maybe. It kind of looks old worldy. I want to wear it, but is that weird if I just wear someone's random nighty in the wardrobe of the old hotel? You sound weird at times. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Still out here, don't it? Yeah, it does. Quieter out here than it is in there. <laughs> Alright, so. Again, that's the door closing. Uh, so, we are out on the balcony once again, and I'm gonna set up our Ghost Tube SLS camera as like static and just like leave it alone facing the area where a apparition of a man, a gentleman, has been you know photographed right here on this balcony so ghost tube sls basically what it's going to do is use augmented reality software to detect depth and basically search for figures in that depth and if something looks like a person something looks like a human body it'll map it out with a little like skeleton figure uh so it's interesting when something gets mapped after you know nothing being in the, the same area that is one reason why i'm using a tripod to do this because it reduces false positives and if we pick up on something it's a lot more interesting uh you know because the camera was still so right so i've just hit record on the ghost tube sls so y'all should see my body my skeleton <laughs> um and because I've got it on the tripod viewing this area and it's stationary it is not mapping anything there so if for some reason during the time that we leave it alone it begins to map something that's when things become a lot more interesting if you do have you know the camera and you're moving it around a lot it's a lot more likely that it might pick up a false positive so I think that we're just gonna like leave see if we pick up anything I don't know if there is a gentleman that uh, stays at this hotel I'm not sure who you are, how long you've been here, but if there's, you know, someone who can hear me right now, don't be shy to come out on uh, to the balcony. We'd love you to come out onto the balcony. Alright, let's go. Alright guys, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to jump into one of the rooms that's a bit creepier by myself. Uh, we have the ghost tube kind of running out there, so I mean hopefully it picks up a figure, that would be amazing. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to do a little bit of a solo investigation for a while. Alright creep keepers, so I'm going to do something a little bit different to what I normally do. I've booted Jared out and I'm just going to do like a solo kind of investigation in the largest room. So I'll flick you around. I'm gonna go lights out and chuck on the night vision. That's creepy. <laughs> now I've already got some stuff kind of laid out here. I've got a cat ball on this chair. Oh, by the way guys, I can't actually see anything because I'm in the dark. Cat ball on that chair, which is hella saggy. I've got a cat ball over here on this mirror and that's also me, hey, <laughs> and then here I've got a little uh, shrine sort of set up. So I've got K2 meter that measures electromagnetic uh, fluctuations around it, so more lights might light up. Some people believe that could indicate the presence of a spirit. Behind that is a bottle of brandy, and then I've got a container here with another cat ball. So if that is physically moved at all, it should light up. 
and then I've placed three cigarettes in here. Now we actually, oh. is there someone in the room with me? Can you do that again, please? Since I just showed you how this one works. Can you make that one light up again too? Oh, thank you. Do you like the cigarettes? Can you come close to the brandy and the cigarettes I've left on the nightstand? They're here for you. This mirror is actually super creepy. There is some traffic I can hear from the road that is next to me. Ooh. Can you push that ball off of the chair? Now I'm going to put on a device that might be a bit noisy, but it is a way that you can hopefully talk to me. So please don't be afraid of it. Can you tell me what your name is? Can you say my name? Can you tell me what's on this nightstand? Can you tell me what this is? Do you want this? Do you have a light? Now I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit creeped out sitting in front of the mirror doing this for some reason, like I feel like the reflections that I'm seeing in the night vision camera viewfinder just look really, really creepy and it's just the infrared light bouncing off of like the mirror. Doesn't all this look creepy to me? It just looks like maybe there's someone behind me. Can you tell me who the man in the top hat is? Did you say Kim? Oh. Have you come to take a seat next to me? Thank you. Can you show yourself in that mirror? Can you make that ball go off again? You've left that one alone now. It's weird because that ball was going off so much, you know, when I first came in here and now it's, it's not. Do you want a drink? I've got some uh, brandy here for you. What is this? Oh, 
Is that this place? Interesting. So guys, I don't know if we really picked up any distinct responses on the spirit box. Obviously, I always say I need a review. Um, and I'm terrible <laughs> at hearing responses in the moment. I admit to that. I try really hard, but I did hear voices coming through. So that could definitely be something there. But this room feels really weird. And I feel like something in here is just playing with me because like how the cat balls have gone off. It's almost like, oh, this one, then this one, then this one, then not anymore. You know what I'm saying? So it's definitely a weird vibe in here. I kind of don't like sitting in here by myself, to be honest. I don't, I don't know, like people have said, apparently they've had other investigators come through and they've said there's definitely a presence um, in this room. I don't know, I can't say that for sure. It does give me creepy, weird vibes though. In the dark as well, I can see a little bit of light coming through the windows, just lighting up the room and there's just a lot of shadows and a lot going on in here, so I don't know, weird, weird vibes. this chair so guys I just walked into this room and this opened on its own I'm gonna close myself in okay that's interesting I'm just gonna mess around with it. You know what I might do actually? Okay. I can't see anything, sorry. So I thought to myself just now, let's go pick a room and just reach out in the room and hang out by yourself. So I pick this room, I come in and I hear something behind me, I turn around and this door is opening on this closet. I'm pretty sure it was closed when I came in and I heard it the open. Maybe it's just loose enough. Is there someone in this room with me? If there is, can you please open that door again? Give it a little push. So I just hit record on that so you guys will see the readings come up on screen. Now the red flashy thing, I'm going to turn off. You guys can see it flashing now. Reason I'm turning that off is I recently dropped my phone and I broke it. And where the infrared um, beam that comes out of the top of your phone is, is all cracked. So it's constantly triggering that uh, setting, which is basically anything passing through that infrared red, um, beam of light on your phone. Yeah, it's capturing that unfortunately so I'm going to put my phone on the end of the bed here if there's anyone on this in this room with me can you come and sit on the bed please I'm really curious about this wardrobe now. I'm pretty sure. 
don't know, I feel like that's opened on me before. I'm pretty sure it was just loose when I walked in, maybe. Who knows? Are there any little kids here? So there are said to be some children here at the Sir John Franklin Hotel. And it's interesting because on my last visit here, I did an SLS session and I did capture like a child. Nathan. Oh, that scared me so much. Is your name Nathan? Thank you for telling me your name. So maybe there's a little boy here. Can you tell me what room I'm sitting in? I'm scared. <laughs> My heart's like racing. So as I was saying, some people do believe kids are spirits of children are here and I did capture what kind of looks like a little spirit in one of the doorways to the rooms down um, this side of the hotel. From memory I, I don't think it's this exact room that I'm sitting in. I don't know why I walked into this room. It was just a random one that I picked. Nathan can you tell me what I'm sitting on? Gosh, that scared me again. Witch. Do you know how many times I've been called a witch? It's a lot. <laughs> it's like the favorite um, thing to come out for me. Last time I got the response for a ghost tube of which I put it um, on my channel. People were saying that it's likely the spirits see me using all these gadgets and this light up stuff and because this technology isn't from the time of the spirits, it could likely seem like witchcraft. And that makes total, total sense to me. A lot of other people were saying that um, your spirits probably noticed my ring. And I used to wear on my thumb a pentagram or pentacle. Or, um, it, uh, I've worn it for years. Like my sister gave it to me and it was my lucky charm and I recently broke it. So... I'm a bit devastated but so maybe it's the saying which more for the technology side of things do you know do you know what it is I'm holding in my hands do you know what it does royal royal Um, I don't know if there's ever been any royalty here. Who is royal? What does that mean? Who? Who? Yes, who? Can you tell me? My name is Amy. And you just said royal, so I was wondering who you were referring to about that. It ain't me. I ain't royal. <laughs> Can you open that cupboard again? Please. my doll who I've named Nancy. Oh, the cage is going off. What the frick was that? 
I'd love if you could give me a sign that you're here. Amy has just sent me in here on my own. A lot of the staff don't like it in here. So. standing in room 20 which a lot of people say is actually the creepiest most haunted scary room basically and I have some of my friends here with me I'm going to be using them as trigger objects because apparently this room is frequented and haunted by child spirits now if you guys want to see the investigation inside this room with my trigger objects then make sure to hit subscribe because that is coming in my part two video if you guys did enjoy this video though Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That really, really helps me out. If you want to do more reading on this haunted location or any of the others from around the world that I have visited, head to my website, amyscrypt.com. You guys can also follow me at amyscrypt. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm also posting tons of bonus content on my Patreon and my YouTube members, which are linked below. But thank you so much for watching Crypt Keepers. Until next time.